Hi everybody, hope you're all staying safe out there. Uh, this is one for the singers. Um, it's how to do a vocal warm-up. Um, why do we need to do a vocal warm-up? It's because, like every other muscle uh, in your body, uh, it requires uh, movement, uh, small amounts of movement before you start doing a big movement. Okay, so what I mean by that is you want to be doing uh, a very kind of subtle uh, voice workout before you start singing uh, songs because you've got really high notes and really difficult uh, parts to sing. You need to make sure that your vocal, uh, your voice box is moving uh, up and down in order so it can get to those big notes. And most importantly, so that you do not damage your voice in any way. Okay, last thing you want is a damaged voice. Believe me, I've been through that and it's it's not pleasant, especially when you're somebody that has to rely on your voice for a living. Okay, so it's really important. I never do a gig these days unless I have done a warm up for normally about sort of 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is warm up is like anything that doesn't push your voice uh, too hard. All right, so things like uh, we, we talk about, it could be like humming, for example, is a really good thing. Um, so firstly, how to hum properly. Okay, so humming, uh, the sound goes through your nose, not through your mouth. Okay, so what you're going to do, do get, make sure you're doing what we call a, a focused hum, a proper hum, uh, is you're going to go start with an E sound. Okay, E, mm, and then close your lips, E, mm, and then you get a proper humming sound. Okay, not just mm, like that because that's no good okay it's got to be start with an e e and if you're doing it right you should feel uh, a tickle on your lips okay if you're not feeling a tickle on your lips then you're not doing it right okay um it's best to be doing these standing up i'm doing the sitting down because i'm feeling a bit lazy today um so what we're going to do is a major scale okay and uh, we're going to start with i'm not going to do the whole thing Okay, I'm just going to show you uh, what's going to happen is it's going to be a major scale and it's going to get increasingly higher as we go along. So you have to decide uh, where your lowest octave is to sing this. So you're going to start at your lowest octave. So I'm just going to play quickly for you uh, a major scale. Okay, so that's a major scale. So, mm, would be my lowest octave, my lowest note that I can do that scale in. Okay, uh, and what you're going to do is you're literally going to hum the scale. So you've got a chord at the start, just that piano chord. Now that is just to give you your starting note. All right, so you don't have to sing that bit. You just want to sing um, after that, the bit that follows. Okay, so I'm going to give you an example. Here we go. Mm, I'm just going to do two of those now. Um, so that's your humming. So what first thing I want you to do is uh, sing the whole thing, well, so as much of it as you can. Okay, don't try it. It goes quite high, so don't try and sing higher than you can already. All right, just keep it within your register. As soon as it gets too high for you, I want you to stop. All right, and then uh, go on to the next exercise, which is uh, a lip trill. Okay. People will think you've gone mad when they hear you do this. Okay, so uh, try and make sure you do it when there's nobody around. So what is a lip trill? A lip trill is when we get our lips and we go like that, like it's a cold day. All right, like okay. Now, reason why we do this is because it puts your voice into its most neutral position. When you do a lip trill, you're not thinking about what's going on here. You're thinking about what's going on here. All right, so your voice doesn't do um, just sits there. Uh, in, in our, its neutral uh, position, all right? So, good thing about that is when your voice is in its most natural position, your neutral position, it will allow you to go higher than you would if you were singing a song, all right? Uh, particularly when you get to that point in your voice that we call your break or your bridge, okay? That break or bridge is the part where your voice uh, feels like it needs to change gear into your what some people call your head voice or your falsetto. All right, so we can do get the lip trill. Now some people find that quite difficult to do. 
Okay, so there's a little hack I can give you for that. If you find it difficult, going like that, then what you can do, and I know it sounds ridiculous, is to get your face and do that. Okay? Just take some of the weight off your face, it makes it a little bit easier. I know it's ridiculous, um, and you know, you might feel a bit embarrassed doing it, but trust me, it's a really good exercise. And what I'm gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same exercise, same scale as we did before, in exactly the same way. Um but with the lip trill. So exactly the same notes, but you're gonna be using the sound rather than mm. okay. So here we go. Okay, so you might notice that this top, this last one I did. So that top note that you're hearing there, so that would be so that top note would be outside of my chest voice. So what this lip trill does, it allows you to go right up into your head voice without you having to change gears because you're already in a kind of how can I put it like a neutral gear, if you like. All right, so with that one again. Just try and go as high as you can naturally. But what we're looking for here is you're looking to be able to take it higher um, than you can with the humming because this is going to allow you to get into that um, upper register. Now, what you, most people find with their voices is that when they're singing in that higher register, that kind of what we call head voice or falsetto up here, okay, is that you know they'll, they'll be able to go la, 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 and then all of a sudden they can't go any higher than that until they get up here. Now what this will do, this exercise will allow you to bridge that gap, another reason why we call it the bridge, okay? So at that point where your voice can't go any higher in your chest voice and you have to switch up into your head voice, all right? This exercise, you can do the whole thing, all right, without having to change gears, shall we call it, from your chest voice to the head to the head voice all right it will do that this exercise will allow you to do that naturally all right and the more you do it the more you'll be able to apply that to uh what should we call it real singing all right so singing songs right okay finally um next thing part of your warm-up should be your vowel sounds now there are more vowel sounds than there are actual vowels what do i mean by that um what I mean by that is it's not just A, E, I, O, U, okay? It's all the sounds in between. So for E, if you think about it, you've got E, but you've got air as well, okay? If you imagine if you were writing that as a word, you know, it would be spelt more or less the same way, E and air. Okay, so it's the sounds we're doing. So you might want to start with the easiest vowel, uh, which is R, all right? Um, the idea with these as well, by the way, as I didn't mention before, is you want to do them all in one breath. All right, so you might start with your R vowel sound. So here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, just like that. Again, again, just carry on um, until uh, you know it's uh, comfortable. All right, so you don't want it to be uh, above your. This is a warm up, remember. So you don't want it to be above your um, comfortable. Uh, vocal register. All right, so you can start with R. Next, uh, you're going to go U. Okay. Um, remember, you've got U and you've got O. All right. So your first one, I'll do just do one for each. Like I said, you can you can take yourself through the exercise from there. So. Okay, so ooh, ooh, you'll find you need uh, a bigger breath than R. Ah, all right, um, there's lots of reasons for that. Um, I'll explain that in another video. Like so, you've got ooh, now you've got O. Oh, okay, so to hear the difference. Oh. Now, 
So the next ones, what we're going to do is rather than just go E, okay, I want you to start it with a M, mm, okay, so rather than just E, you're going to go me and then continue the exercise. The reason why we do that is because uh, most of the time when we're singing a vowel, it's very, it's not very often that we'll sing E like that. We're going to say sing me. You'll, you'll start with what we call a consonant, you know, a, a letter. Um, so for this exercise, for me, okay, you're going to go E. Okay, so that's the E vowel sound. All right, so what I'm going to do for you then is uh, in the description down below, I'm going to put a link to where you can download this backing track uh, that I've made on how to do um, a vocal warm up. I am going to expand on this because, like I said, there's more vowel sounds that you can do. All right, we're just going to stick with these ones for the moment. But there's more vowel sounds that you can do, um, uh, and it's important that we get all of them, if you think about so all the different words that you sing, there's almost so many different sounds that you're going to be using. So I'm going to expand on this warm up as we go along and try and put some different vowel sounds that you have that we haven't done yet. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I will speak to you soon. Stay safe.